Hello everyone, my name is Dave. I'm here at the Greater Vancouver Zoo and at our outdoor lemur enclosure. So I'm here with two of our lemurs. We've got Luna and Nova, our two female lemurs out here with me. And we're gonna do a little bit of a training session for you guys. So I just wanted to explain a little bit about why zoos do training, because even when I first started here, I was a little hesitant to think that training was a good thing at a zoo. I wanted to view animals doing wild things. And I thought, why would we want to train our animals? Um, but it does turn out that there's a lot of good reasons to train, a lot of very beneficial, positive reasons to train. For one thing, our lemurs are considered somewhat of a dangerous animal. And at our zoo, we do not go in with our lemurs. But we do have to clean, with, clean up after them and feed them, of course. And so, we need to be able to move them from section to section so we can enter those sections uh, safely and do the work we need to do. Sometimes the lemurs don't want to cooperate, sometimes they want to stay where they are. And so we start doing some training so that we can move the lemurs to where we need them to be and they will do so voluntarily. It's really the voluntarily thing that really clued me into why it's important to train animals in zoos. So that you're not forcing them to do things under stress so that they will comfortably do it voluntarily. All right, so in, uh, in zoos, we typically use um, positive reinforcement. Uh, with the nice thing about positive reinforcement is that there's nothing bad going on. We're not taking anything away. The only thing that could happen is they don't get their treat. That's the worst that could happen. So nothing bad is happening. And that's a good way to train animals. And most zoos pretty much exclusively use positive reinforcement. All right, so what we're going to do with our lemurs today is we're going to do target training. So in the case of target training with an animal, the target refers to some object that's very visible. I like to use a ball on a stick, a brightly colored ball like this. It's very easily uh, distinguishable from anything else. There's no other bright colored balls that the lemurs are gonna mistake this for. So it's very much means when they see this that we're doing a training session. It clues them into that. And so the point of target training is just to get the animals to touch the target or to go very close to the target. When they do that, they're rewarded and when they get rewarded and they know that they're going to get rewarded for touching the target, they're going to do it over and over. So I'm going to demonstrate a target training session with Luna and Nova. So being um, herbivores, these guys typically like fruit. Most herbivores like fruit. And so you want to use a reward that's very, very popular for the animals, but you'll want to use a reward that they don't usually get. So it's a special treat. They'll especially want to touch this ball if they're getting a treat that they don't usually get for any other reason. What I've got here are some dried figs, very popular amongst our lemurs. So here's how we're going to do this. We've got two lemurs in here. In lemurs, it's always the females that are dominant. We've got two females. So there is a dominant female and a submissive female. Our dominant one is Luna here and she's going to be the most trained one because she always she's the toughest one and she's going to always make sure she gets that treat so she's the easiest to train and you can see she is very well trained so what I'm going to do is use the command touch the ball Luna touch the ball good right after she touches the ball I always say good and then reward her with a treat the good part is important it's called a bridge the reason you use a bridge is because you can't always offer the treat immediately after they do the behavior, but that's important. It is important that they know why they're getting the treat. And so if you take even a few seconds after they do the behavior, it takes you a few seconds to give them that reward. They might have done something else in that two seconds, and then they think they get the treat for doing that. It might just be turning their head to the side or something quick like that. You don't want them to think they're getting the, re the reward for that. You want them to think that they're getting the reward for touching the ball. So immediately when they touch the ball, I say good. And that means that that's what you did. That's the right thing that you did. And then I can give them the treat. All right, let's try with uh, Nova here. Nova, touch the ball. Touch the ball, Nova. Good. At certain times, uh, Luna, being the dominant one, gets a little bossy and sometimes chases Nova away from her treat. So that worked out well. Sometimes we have to separate them to do a proper training session just because Luna can get a little bossy, but it doesn't look like that's happening today, so that's good. Luna, come touch the ball. Good. And Nova, touch the ball. 
Nova, touch the ball. You see how Luna got in there? So that can be a little bit disrupting to the training session. Nova is not going to try to get in there and get the treat if Luna is too close. So sometimes we have to move them around. I'm not sure if the camera is going to catch this. See how Luna really wants that treat today. So sometimes we might have to lock Luna up separately and train her separately from Nova. I hope we don't have to do that today. Come here, Lu Nova, and touch the ball. And touch the ball. Hey, Luna's a little bit bossy today. I'm not gonna give her extra treats though. I will try and get this one to Nova. Nova, touch the ball. Touch the ball, good. So we do this kind of training every day. Training really has to be kept up with most animals. It's best to do it every day. Sometimes you can get away with skipping a few days, but if you skip too many days, touch the ball. They can forget all about it. These primates are pretty smart. And if we do skip a day or so with them, they always remember. But some other animals, you do definitely want to do it every day. No, but touch the ball. Touch the ball, good. All right, so that was just a little quick demo of how we do some of our training here at the Greater Vancouver Zoo. Thank you very much for watching.